Merry Christmas. My name is Sam Stacy. I'm the Director of Chaplaincy Services for ARH. I want to thank all of our employees, whether you're full-time, part-time, or volunteer, for your services during these trying times. Thank you for everything that you've done for our, our hospitals, our staff, and our patients this year. This year has been tough, but with God's help, we've made it through another year. During the Christmas season, we don't want to forget the true meaning of the season. It is the birth of the one true Savior that come down from heaven to be with be our sacrificial lamb. For without this miraculous birth, we would be in big trouble today. God's amazing grace was shown that day some 2,000 odd years ago. Let us celebrate his birth and enjoy this holiday season with our friends, family, and loved ones. Let us start out with a word of prayer and then we'll continue with the most miraculous story ever told. Let us pray. Father God, we just come to you today thanking you for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us over the year. Father, we want to thank you for this season, the season of your child's birth, Jesus, Father, some 2,000 years ago. Thank you for allowing him to come to this earth to be our sacrificial lamb, to be that Savior that we've all needed, Father God. I want to thank you for each one of our first responders, I want to thank you for our hospital staff, from the doctors, nurses, lab, and all the technicians, Father. I just want to thank you for what they've done for us this year, being the first responders responding to this thing called COVID that has scared so many people and taken the lives of thousands. Father, we just want to thank you for each and every day. Thank you for your goodness to us, Father God. Just be with us, lead, guide, and direct in everything that we do, Father, and we will always give you the honor, the glory, and the pleasure. We love you. We praise you. For it is in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. And I'm Chaplain Joe Beeson. I'll be reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 5 and 6. To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. Merry Christmas and God bless everyone. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields keeping watch over their flocks by night. Luke 2, 9 and 10. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. Plankaren, reading for you from the book of Luke, chapter 2, Verse 11 and 12. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace goodwill toward men. Luke chapter 2, verses 15 and 16. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. This is Luke chapter 2, verses 17 and 18. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. 
and all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the employees, the staff, the administration of all the hospitals that make up the Appalachian Regional Hospital chain. Thank you for their courage. Thank you for their faith. Thank you for their hope. We pray for resilience. We pray for faith. We pray for peace. We pray that the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ would be poured out upon the patients and the staff of all these hospitals. Thank you for the miracle of Christmas the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And thank you that the angels sang, peace on earth, goodwill toward those with whom God is pleased. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.